really hazy and humid out today. Sort of uncomfortable weather. I didn't uh, make a video yesterday. I just wasn't feeling up to it. I haven't really slept great since the election. I've had a hard time falling asleep and I've been waking up too early. So I've been kind of tired the last couple days. Today in the US, it's Veterans Day, which is our holiday we use to commemorate the service of the people who have served in our armed forces. I've always found it's a really nice celebration. It's always a really quiet holiday. Some cities do parades and whatnot, but I've always liked the quiet observance that tends to go with Veterans Day celebrations. America has a uh, unusual relationship with its military personnel. There's this very unusual mindset that many, many people have about those who have served. A lot of people will look at our military and then they'll look back at the civilians and say, if you don't support them, you're 100% against them. And it leads to like this really weird dynamic of, well, I don't want to use the word fetishization, maybe held up on a pedestal a little bit versus just looking at them as people who have done a great service for our country done what many of us could not do. And I'm not saying I'm anti-military or anti the troops or anti-veterans day. I'm just saying there's a probably a middle ground between supporting the troops versus unnecessarily deifying them. And I've never really heard of any other nation doing this sort of thing. Both the holding up on a pedestal and the holidays commemorating those who have served. My personal belief is that American military personnel and veterans do deserve the utmost respect and recognition for their service. But before anything else, they're just people like you and me. And I've heard that many people who have served are really uncomfortable with this unusual dichotomy of patriotism and anti-patriotism that goes along with supporting them. What really saddens me too is that so many people want to hold the American military personnel up on this pedestal, but so many veterans are homeless or suffering from mental illnesses, and a lot of the times the two go hand in hand, and yet you don't see much activity to rectify that. It's like, they want to observe the greatness of the American military, but only at a distance. That's always really bothered me. I think it's only fitting that we should protect people to an equal extent the way they protected us, if that makes sense. But I'm not saying I'm anti-troops or anti-American military, I'm, I'm not. I come from a family where many, many people served. I have to go to work now. talk to you guys in a minute. Out of work, I decided I was going to treat myself today, and I picked up a six-pack of some pumpkin beer, which is one of my favorites, and it's also a, uh, a very controversial choice for many people. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know why. I think it tastes great. What's weird, though, I am not the biggest fan of pumpkin pie. I like all things pumpkin, except pumpkin pie. I found Mr. Q Cucumber Soda when I was in BevMo today buying beer, and I really like this stuff. I was really glad I found it. <sighs> That's refreshing. I talked to Julia on the phone for about three hours. It was awesome. I love talking to her. She ended up falling asleep on the phone with me. So, Julia, when you watch this... Thank you for that. And then I went to Carl's Jr. and had a low-carb burger and some not-low-carb fries. Sorry. I'm going to go to bed because I am really tired today. Also, I found these. I, I didn't buy these. My dad bought these when he was grocery shopping the other day. The way they're advertised is very interesting. I'm small, but I pack pungent flavors. You might want to fire their ad agency. Good night, guys.